So I wanted to be a journalist, by the way. Oh. So I knew I want to be in front of the camera. But Sasa uh, Nikiwa High School, my, my school didn't really have a strong drama club. So skumaja games time, I'm, I'm going for the games. I love you, Captain Amali Mueto. I can see my mission. I Shika. I was very tiny. Can dogo ya? And go into a jet. Go find them in France. I can't remember. I can see Shika. Uh, and then we shake the lines. It was for a narrative. So I miss Nico. I like very excited. Nico Shika. So it was a competition. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm fortunately my partner. I'll go stammer. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, it's always <laughs> funny Nikisema. So I took to make it. So partners went to Madame Flano are willing to repair. Because this is it will cut to a common lines. So I was given a role yaku pandishavi maua up or backstage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was uh, I think that was my intro into drama and then I knew this is what I wanted to do. So my shortcut was gonna be journalism. But Sasa Nika after two ni Mamazevi high school, me nika na took after Malpako act. So I contacted when my friends. That? When did you that finish high school? The, yeah, that's, that's, the question, <laughs> that's the question. That's the question. I minimalized high school in 2015. Yes, yeah, so. Cohorts. Cohorts. When I say manga, exams. Anyway, yeah, that was, so 2016, 17, I could find my way, and here I am. Yeah. Uh, so many actors and actresses are always uh, starting out at KNT. Mm. Like, I think fresh from school. Was KNT the home for you? No, it wasn't at first. Many lians and a central central park set books, nini nini. Mm -hmm. So I got a connection, Nikenda Uko. But when uh, KNT became my transition from set book to public shows, mm -hmm. so when I when I when I wanted to, I I, I I I always wanted to. I want more. I'm always hungry for. So Nika Nikona set book. It's my time is over. So I, I need the next step. So I went to Kenya National Theatre, Kutafta na nama posta apo ni nini. So that was my, my home, my second home. Okay. Yeah. And still is. Can you remember, or can you maybe highlight a character you, you played? And what set books are you acting? All of them? Mm-hmm. 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 Your time is like... Riven the Source? Yeah. I did Riven, Riven the Source, Caucasian Chokusako. Uh, guy, <laughs> the black one. 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 The black Amani The black one. The black one. The black one. The The black one. The The black one. The black it was a bit heavy. In your time, I really don't, I don't have the techniques as much. Mm -hmm. So I just find my way through it. Now, it's one of the characters. You could have adapted into a film. I really want to do a man. Wow. Yeah. Speaking of heavy roles, how do you transform from, you know, Pfizer to a role you've been um, it, assigned? It's, it's all preparation. Mm -hmm. So. There's a lot of research, there's a lot of work that, that is usually done. That is why acting is a profession, because mm -hmm. you have to sit down with the script, you have to understand this human you're playing. So mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a lot of techniques. So it depends with the character, uh, how heavy the character is. But what I will do is I'll go sit down with the writer, director, and my script, especially my script every time, because you know the lines, the lines usually guide you to the, the, the act type of the character, so you have to know your character. Anafanga kuvaje, ye uongele shakina nani, social life yake na And that... Did you dress yourself? No, no, no. Okay. Uh, the, of course, kuna wardrobe, but before, for the preparation, mm -hmm. you're gonna have to at least get the picture of who you're playing. And na yon anzadi na venyo unava. I think I'd like to know about your very first audition, especially on Sincerely Daisy. How did that come about? Wow, that first Nakumbuka to look around 700 people. There, there was an audition at KNT, and you know, the auditions were for Giraffe, Giraffe Africa, mm -hmm. Nick Mutuma's uh, company. Mm -hmm. Sasa took out on a jewel where this is going. You know, it's just another audition. Min men at KNT, Napatana, what do you wengi? I have my best monologue. I got into the room, did my thing, and then called in for a callback. From the callback to number it's a competition. <laughs> they yeah. weren't clear on what anyway. the show was. So yeah, um, <laughs> we get there, it's a competition. They're looking for the next superstar in Kenya. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and I, I was one of the superstars, Nika Kwa number three. Yeah, and then I got a role to get to Nini since early days at Chalomi Stai. Mm, so that's how they casted me, yeah. Okay. I'd love to hear you just, you know, recite a, a sentence. Do you say recite? What, uh, what are the terms? Yeah, you say the lines. Yeah, say, yeah, so say the line, a, yeah. a monologue. Maybe the one you, you did with Sincerely Daisy to wow. get the role oh, to get Sincerely Daisy. Hey, hey. Wow. Shit. I, I think I... Sorry. Mm, what is that line? It's... I know, I know the context. But let me try. <laughs> Hi, my name is Charlie and I'm an alcoholic. So recently I've been into it. I've been trying to get away from it, but I can't. Yeah, that's pretty what I'm <laughs> That's <saying>. believable. What are you an alcoholic? I that's what I think that's what that, that is what I remember, yeah. In Korean Bamba monologue until there's one time I did it in an audition. I really wanted to get the job. I didn't get the job. So ni kanza kuchuke yo monologue. Ni kole, I am a shida ni monologue ni nini. But you know, I was young then. I didn't really understand the intention behind having an audition. Mili kwa nadhani, you have to go get the job. Kumbe, it's audition ni kama one of the places to go. Uh, show what you have, show your skills. Yeah. Mm. Was, it, uh, was it the same thing for volume? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? The, the audition? The audition, yeah. yeah, yeah, it was, it was. Actually, for volume, it was a bit funny because still KNT, I met two of my rehearsals, then I meet one of my fans from Sincerely Daisy, Kufan girl, Nini Nini, and then Ananiambia, she wants me to say the audition. So the mom said, yeah, and then I, I check out the script, and go like, eh, this is very interesting. Can I get the, the character brief? Then I get it, and I go home. So I keep it here, the character Bible, I see Castro. And then Castro's lines were very interesting. Because it's on my if you share some kitu, and then you're like, this is what I'm going for. And then I called my friend Amina, shout out to Amina, that's my audition buddy. They come and be, you know what, kuna character flani up, I really need to try it. Nikai piga. Then I was called in for a callback, of which to look at wengi. But yeah, so what I do is I usually prepare for my audition. So I have to know what the character says, what are they expecting. I love from the brief, then I come and na look like the character. So when I get into the room, already at least I get the vibe of your character. Then I link up kama hashtag man like Castro. Then I got the job. And, and I think your role in Sincerely Daisy uh, was a bit light, mm. chilled, and then all of a sudden we see you in volume and yeah. Castro is like the bad boy. Mm. Was, was it hard for you to transition? Did you think about, uh, probably the audience would say, uh, Faiz is a soft guy, mm. or is he playing this role <laughs> of a tough guy? No, no, I, I, I didn't have uh, any expectations. I love Peiko Nisumboa Sana because it was like, I, had, I usually have breaks in between. After I've done like a, a major, a major nini, film, I take a break, I get back to theater, ukondo na iva iva. So I lipata kama, nisha di roll from Sincerely Daisy, from Castro, nimefanya some minor, minor roles hapa katikati, but nilikuwa... Castro ali nipata nikiwa at a very good place artistically because nilikuwa nime sharpen skills here time. Because all, all I was doing at time, I wasn't in any, any major film. So it, it was just me preparing to, preparing to. So mm -hmm. it, it, I, di, I didn't get the heaviness in the transition. Because okay. nilipata mm, nisha, nisha define niko set, I'm ready for my next. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you ever met uh, a fan that gave you hell for a <laughs> role you played? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, kuna siku ni kotao. I don't know my avenue. I'm just into my business. Then some nigga comes. I can give you coffee. Where, where, where when him buy? I like who ni nani? Man like Castro. Where when him buy? So you know how how we compliment each other. It's it's a bit weird. So yeah, then if you get too much coffee, you collect. So I can relate to a man like Castro. I used to say I wasn't really having a good day. Mm. Yeah, but I think the approach is that I really appreciate it. Because he really Compliment. saw me for the character. So uh -huh. yeah, for a moment I was disturbed. 
Though there's one after sincerely days here for archives. Mm -hmm. eh, eh, that was crazy because your time squad me squad me a kuzoya your attention. Mm -hmm. So niko archives and then they see me they I think that there were four the four girls wakanza tu kupiganduru na tukwako tuko archives. Niko like guys niko na mabishte zangu. My boy, I can't be here. We're sending in the van, my dear. Sorry, can't follow me. Sorry, ni 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 ni. I call it guys to learn it, to learn it. Everything is fine. <laughs> but I, I appreciate, I appreciate, I appreciate the moment. I, uh -huh. I appreciate the love. Yeah. Mm. Do you see uh, any similarities, or rather, are there any similarities between Faiz and Castro? And Castro. Maybe you wanted my boy, <laughs> but um, Castro is like a, an extreme of of my personality. Because if Castro na do the things I would do, but he's end up to that extreme. Mm -hmm. So nikiangalia perspective, like, yeah. it's like okay, jana na ana pigashere, you know. Alafu thinking yake. His view of the world is not really my view of the world. So, kuna ata niki watch kuna vitu zingine na semana na skanga nika ni me cringe. Niko like, hey, 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 ukijana. So, um, similarities seem more bevo, especially the perspective of Castro and mine in terms of how we view life, how we do our stuff. It's a bit different, yeah. Mm. And I think even still on Castro, what would you say was the most uh, difficult scene? for you to shoot? Mm, the most difficult scene. All the things, I had a lot of lines, cause, um, you know, acting is usually when, when you're not speaking, when you're, you have the lines, time to yenye, una react. So, nikipe wanga lines na finding it, you challenge. So, kuna, kuna that scene, Castro and Benja wako rooftop, wana argue. It, it was actually, it's, it's a fight scene, yeah. That, that scene was difficult and heavy, because one, it, it is the scene I auditioned with. Alafu, by the time I'm getting the script, kila kitu may change, perspective ni may understand. But so what I didn't understand is, is my why. Why, why, why is Castro so bitter about this scene? So, uh, thank God uh, our shooting sequence started with my why. So, nilianza na scene before he seen. So at least I got to understand why so I came to understand because the previous scene, when Mekufa, spoiler alert, guys, when Mekufa was <laughs> Tanya. So, and I realized Tanya Kumbe is my friend in the, in the story. Mm. Mm, but before, it was, it was, it was mm. a bit difficult. It's quite me understand. Mm -hmm. Not difficult, it's because it's me get perspective. Yeah. yeah. Right. I remember there was a time last year, I was mm. going through a bad breakup. Mm. <laughs> and I almost missed work. I almost, I did not. Mm. But I almost missed work. And the thing with our jobs is you, you have to show up somehow. You have, have to. to smile. Yeah. You have and, to. and smile and act as <laughs> if your yeah. world is going. Yeah. Yeah. So do you ever have such moments? And is there a time you've missed, you know, going to work because of something difficult you are maybe undergoing? Mm. I, I wouldn't want it to get there because I really separate my myself from the character kabisa alafu and usually when i when i'm in between kazi i'm always into i'm always into the space of the character so um me wambia bro yangu just people around me so that they know i'm preparing for something so wana at least wana block Izo izo ma ma vitu za home. Adi ni maliza na character. Then I get back to my life. So usually I tuta pata when I when I'm when I'm shooting because me ufanya one project pa pa maybe pa at a time one character at a time. Yeah. So niki wana yu tuta pata sina ingine. Mm -hmm. So nita nita focus na ika bisa adi like my daily life tend to go towards the character's life. So most of the time tuta pata kama my character is so out there, outgoing, ni ni kama Castro, most of the time ni likuwa tu na watu. Mm, but kama karakti nataka, maybe ni mse, ako chill, ako tu home, utapata tu pia niko home peke yangu. So, mm. yo period ya kushoot, mm. that's a uh, period where you guys are shooting, mm. you, you are really your character. Yeah, I, I, I always wanted to be like that. Does it affect your relationship, maybe with your family? People. Yeah, it does, it uh, does. Romantically? Yeah, it does. Because I can't imagine as a girlfriend dealing with a Castro. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but you know, it, it is what it is, and I have to do the job. Na lazima kukweneo, 
your professional separation yeah this is me this is work mm -hmm. so your time na na konga nimewasho na washo guys kuna kitu na prepare for na nita need maybe some kind of space and I, I, I'm, I'm blessed and lucky to have a supportive system especially my family so they they usually understand alafu wanapenda kazi yangu so they always wanataka ngoa dipe your space ndio waone ni nini naenda ku achieve did they always encourage you to move into the arts specifically acting no no, no they, they did not ni mimi ni did not see the vision wamekamu wakaona wamekamu wakaona the zeal and how much i want it and then you know if you can't beat them you join them so finally they're here with me wana wana celebrate agreed yeah. mm. i think uh, even before we get to the vibe uh you have a lot of there are a lot of big names in volume the series mm. from real bogish komashiri mm, the director sarah. himself tosh mm. uh, sarah how was it working with these people it was it, one it was very exciting alafu ata before 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 i meet the characters cuz actors bogi tumejuana nae for for a while uh, Sarah to me to me act nice in Sally Daisy so at least I nimewajua jua but now the production itself you know it's it was it was high end production so kuna kuna il kuliko na culture shock of course nimekuja kwa set CJ kuwa kwa set big kama hiyo uh, so kuna kuna baada kwa culture shock alinipiga but you know Tosh ni yule boys wa atakwambia what ataku lead on to something at least your environment iko jenge u get u get to u get to the zone u get to the zone so ilikuwa kwa just haikuwa haikuwa ngumu alafu we had we had we had our moments as as cast before we got to the show to carbond to build chemistry nini nini so that by the time we are getting to the show tulikuwa tushaya tusha gel yeah okay wow okay so for how do you intend for how long do you intend to do you know uh, this 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 is like my life <laughs> <laughs> I, i i really don't intend to do it to, to some point cuz nada ikufanya the characters are there najua so najua acting is all the way up um actually vitu zenye nafanya sai these are like my retirement plans mm. so sidani kuna time itafika ni drop of course vitu zitakuwa zina happen i'll just have breaks in between mm -hmm. like kuna time um, after like set i can take a break from acting ni let me take like a year and build my my other company which is the vibe to five four but sidani kuna sio ni ni quit nilisha fik nilisha vuka hiyo point of quit ju ninge quit ju na jo art pia si raisi na kama niko hapa ai <laughs> and you see there are a lot of gatekeepers in your industry yeah. is, what has been your experience my experience is crazy because the more you the, the the more successful the more pressure the more the more intense and then una come una realize kuna watu hawana pure intention kuna tu mtu yako hapa i exploit ya and they don't really care about the arts they're just here to maybe make their money go so of course kuna a lot of gatekeepers but una jua tuzi acha ufala iti na mood so they don't really affect me because na jua i know my journey i know what i can do so na making sure ni make it professional isi isi kuje ianze tena tusikue personal na jua eh, so mm -hmm. we keep it we keep it business kama as your line as your line eh, so there's there's nothing personal about that to catch feelings ju kazi uh, yezi i ja line na jua Mm -hmm. uh, so the gatekeepers watch our gatekeep we can always <laughs> jump over the gate ama we buy the whole gate to not to employ so it join is stress kitambo ndo ilikuwa ni stress nilikuwa naona ni kama watu ndo wameshikilia nyota yangu and then niko like ah 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 watu wajashikilia you can always the goal is can never change true mm. you are curator of the vibe tell us a bit more about what is the vibe what do you guys do what does it entail The Vibe 254 is an acoustic event uh, curated mm. for our Kenyan audience. It's an event to celebrate Kenyan culture. So we are celebrating Kenyan culture through music which is live performance from uh, we call them independent artists when you not not really mainstream artists when you bado wako na talent wanajifind hapa chini na wako they they're really into their craft. Mm. So we celebrate fashion, we celebrate 
music. Um, I'm one of the founders to call to call a tattoo. So the Vibili was born because uh, one of my friends, one of the founders, and it was Tevin Kimathi, and Apenda Kenyan music kabisa. So kila time to tuna patana, uniga kona playlist mpia ya wasani wa Kenya when you just kia. And then you're like, guys, let's do like an event for this. Mm -hmm. So say to kona, we are going to our sixth edition. Okay. Three years later, we are doing really well. It's now like a brand. Yeah, now. We are on to our next edition, which will be on the 31st. The Vibe to Vibe 4, it's called Lover Boys Edition. We have Kinoti, Wanjine, Modest, and African Vic. Oh, that yeah. will attend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 The, the lineup. Line line yeah. yeah. mm. So it's 31st of this month? Yeah, uh, 31st of this month. Okay. It's a SK showground. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have to pay tickets, can't believe it. I love hey. you. Hey. Come, you see what we do at the vibe. All right. Yeah. Thank we'll you. Definitely, that. we'll do that. Yeah. 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 Remember, you can talk to, you can call him live mm. uh, through 0795-045-864. Yeah. Yeah. Na mimi nataka kujua Faiz. Niambie. Does this career pay? Tuwane kama tunezaamu. This career pays. It has money. Ni venye tu wa ndo wanatuonye shangani aina do. Mm. What's the most you've earned? The most I've earned. The most I've earned. In one gig? In one gig. Mm. In one gig. It's <laughs> Kevin, you know, said it. At least in Africa. Almost in Africa, no sumita. That is like the most so far yet. Okay. But it can always get better because yeah. industry is going to do. Ni venye sasa, sisi atuna yo knowledge, we don't know, uh, we don't have the talks ya yeah, what is your worth, who, who are you as a brand. So na mika faiz, mina jua tuku act, mini kutuna passion. But sasa ukipeleka passion hivu uko mbele, they're gonna eat the passion na waitupe uko. So you have to... So do you to, have a team behind you? Yes, yeah, so yeah, I'm nikona management. Mm. Mm, at least they, they maneuver. So with every... Uh, film that takes you to Netflix, Unongeza yeah. Rich Cards. How, how do you come up with Bain the Rich Cards? <laughs> so, um, it, I, 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 me and team yangu, tunangalia, where I'm at, with the uh, growth, gani ni konayo sai, ni ni, uh, ni mefika wapi, ni ni neza offer, uh, what is my previous to work, you know you're only good as your last job. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, hiyo ndio tunangalia, tunangalia wealth yangu yote kwa my particular, at that particular time. So kama sign ni Netflix benefits ni nini imenifikisha wapi and then from there we we have like a rate card. Mm. So at least I have I have a team to do that. Inani save your stress because mm. unajua industry yetu um nego hiyo process ya negotiation it looks like a fight. Mm. So I really don't understand why <laughs> sometimes our producers make it look like it's a fight nika ufai ku negotiate what you want. Call them out, call them out. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah we have to call them out, you know. <laughs> Mm. And I think uh, even before we continue the interviews, just to tell you our viewer that you can continue interacting with us on Double Two Zero Four Seven TV Forty Seven News on X, TV Forty Seven KE on Instagram, TikTok uh, hashtag Feel Good Friday, and of course we are giving out cake courtesy of Valentine's Cake House and TV Forty Seven. And if you love baking, if you love pastry, of course Valentine Cake House is giving you an opportunity to go and learn for free for a whole week on how to make cake. But Faiz, are yeah. we expecting volume season two? Definitely, mm -hmm. definitely, because um, so far we are doing so good. Now, you know, Netflix also is all about the numbers. So at least I volume imo, imo we can we can really watch our things. So, and it's a business. I want to take numbers. I like, mbona watu wa watch. So the response has been quite amazing. Mm -hmm. So definitely season two in a come. Watching it, we can't. <laughs> I, I, I like that kuna watu kama, kuna watu waja watch volume and they know nothing about volume. So... I'd love to be them. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Like right. So, na fraya, because kama bado tuko, kwenye tuko na kuna watu waja sikia, means by the time wana inawafikia, yeah. we shall be at a better place to for season two. You guys received a lot of praise on it. Mm. Did and you get castigated? And well. how did you... Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, wait, wait. All are keyboard warriors, guys. <laughs> Kuna, there's a lot of it, yeah, a lot of it. Yeah. But Sisa, we focus more on the success we learn from the, the our mistakes. Na uzuri ni, we were prepared. Personally, I was prepared because by the time to got to the shoot, nika usha ona yo vision ina kaje. So adi on set, mm, adi blow up ya Castro, it wasn't really a surprise because while ni prepare on set, all na. You know your first in film your first your first audience is the crew na kila mtu mwenye kwa hapo so at least walikuwa shanza kusema bro ikitu inaenda ku nini ku blow inaenda kwa poa alafu of course maheta ni wale wale wamekaa wakasema vitu zao but kama kitu yenyewe unasema you know if i'm not learning from it then i i kidogo i need said mm. uh, but feedback imekuwa poa sana imekuwa poa sana and we are looking forward to to more at at avenue uh, most most of the most of the things guys are saying ni about the music ni ni nini the music was not good blah 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 but we learn from that you know yeah. and season 2 definitely you guys are not ready for what's going to come okay yeah. Uh, I'm being told we don't have time, but as we wrap up, we have to address our uh, Twitter, our ex-audience. Oh. And Wanjiru here is asking, Uko na mtu? <laughs> Niko na mtu? <laughs> hey, umiamoni ya nike hivo? <laughs> na uzua na watu? Ala watu. Kama ako, ala watu. Eh hey, niko na mtu mtu mgani tho niko na mtu mgani wewe mimi niko fine guys mimi niko fine <laughs> niko poa sana give us your closing remarks yes. my closing remarks mm, check me out mm, i'm a very interesting person na unafaa unijue you promise <laughs> anyway uh, there's a lot going on there's there's a lot i'm doing so come to the vibe see what we do I have a show coming up at the theaters around me kuja follow me on ig faiz francis ouma that is where i'm most active mm-hmm. so faiz francis ouma ouma with double a come to onge kama say we are doing something on mental health so mm-hmm. yeah it's a lot a lot is going on you just need to be at the right place at the right time i would do and shout out to Ivy Wangoi and Amini link up and shout out to you guys. Thank you so much yeah. for creating time for us. Thank you so We much. We appreciate having you. Thank you so much. Asante sana.